Hi, this is Guy Wallace. A focus on tasks and outputs during instructional design and development provides you with an anchor for developing the authentic practice with feedback necessary to develop initial performance competence. And if you're dealing with high stakes performance where the risks and rewards are high, the performance may be complex and tricky. Your instructional content may need a series of practice with feedback opportunities where learners might progress through application exercises that start off easy peasy and then become difficult and then darn difficult and then what seems to be from Hades. And you may need more than four opportunities to practice and get confirming and or corrective feedback immediately after and immediately before the next opportunity to practice. It's all about outputs and the stakeholder requirements for them that are authentic from back on the job. And you may wish to interleave those with application exercises addressing other performance tasks and outputs. One shot or all at one time may not be sufficient. And you may need to provide additional opportunities via space learning that covers both knowledge and the skills and authentic applications. This may seem to come to be overkill in the extreme for some, unless they too understand the authentic performance and the risks and rewards at stake. Worthy instruction is not about topics with face validity. It's about authentic tasks and outputs and the measure for both that leads to performance competence back on the job. That's the nature of performance-based instruction.